Hi, hello and welcome back to Tech Hub and in today's video we are going to discuss how to recover your access to a EC2 instance in case you have lost your private key or the private key is corrupt and for some reason you are not able to use the key to SSH into your EC2 instance. So at this uh, instance we are going to replace the original in a public private key pair with a new key pair that we will be creating and uh, we'll try to regain our access to the ec2 instance so basically that is the strategy around getting access to your ec2 instance so in this lab uh, i will be using a linux uh, ami or a linux instance and i am running mac uh, os so what i will do as a first step is that using my terminal on my mac i will be creating or generating a new key pair using the ssh keygen command and then once the uh, keys are generated i will copy the public key and then in the next step i log into my aws console and then i'll select my instance and then i will connect to my instance using the ec2 instance connect option or you could also use sessions manager if you have enabled the sessions manager if you want to know how to enable these uh, uh, options for your ec2 instance please have a look at my earlier video that i had uh, put up a couple of days back so i'll put the link uh, above and please follow that if you want to enable these options so moving forward once we have connected uh, to our instance using the browser based um, ssh tunnel uh, using these two options i would open up the authorized key file and i'll place the public key in this file and then reboot the instance after rebooting the instance i would try to ssh into the instance using the public ip and the new private key that uh, I have generated so let's move on to the console and let's get started with the lab so I have already a EC2 instance running here and I have uh, used a key called transit key which so let's do one thing before replacing the key let's check out whether uh, the instance is uh, accessible over ssh from my local computer using this uh, transit key so i'll be opening my terminal and let me go to the location where i have stored the key okay cd Oh, sorry, I'm already inside of this. Let's see it. Okay. Okay, I have my transit key here. Let me copy the private IP, no, public IP. And what I'll do is that I will try to SSH from I the key name transit and then let's see and let's see if we are able to get inside of this ec2 instance so i'm getting a permission denied error here okay well and fine so that can be the use case for me but i'll try to see again hmm so have i copied the public ip address correctly yes am i using the correct oh okay so so that was the mistake i had misspelled the username so this shows that I, we are able to get inside of the uh, vm using my old key now hypothetically i have lost this uh, key or um, this transit key that i have used 
so transit key that i have used suppose i i have lost it and then i what to do how to uh, get into uh, my ec2 instance uh, or ssh from my local computer inside of my ec2 instance so for that i will have to create a new um, key pair and then i'll have to place it inside of my vm so the first step as described in the my slide would involve uh, generating the key pair on my local system and then copy it to this instance okay so i'll exit this session here and now i am on my local computer let me clear the screen clear and now um, what i would do is that i would create um, a directory i would create a directory called pub keys and let me go inside into pub keys and then what i would do is that search hyphen key t okay. so i will issue this command uh, within this folder so that i can create the public private key pair and now it is prompting me to give this uh, key pair uh, some name so what i would say is that this is i will call new key and it then it was asking for a paraphrase so i can further protect my keys with a with a password um but i would skip uh this step for now and then let me do ls hyphen l so here we have the uh, private key and the public key uh, generated now what we need to do is that we need to copy the content of this uh, file that is our public key and we have to paste this key in our inside of our ec2 instance for this new key to work so basically this will be our new private key and we would um use this new key going forward and we'll forget about the transit key that we were using earlier uh, assuming that either i have lost it or that it is corrupt so now let me get the content of the new public key so you need to copy from here to here let's copy this content now what i would do is that i once that i have copied my content i would go back to my console and i'll use the connect option and since my instance is having a public ip i can use the instance connect option to connect via a ssh uh, browser based ssh tunnel into my instance now once i am in i will go inside of dot ssh and there i will find a authorized key file so now i need to open up this file and paste my key so you can see here that this is the new key i am adding to this um, file and what you are seeing on the top this is the public uh, key for the transit key uh, that i was using earlier so let's save this file by pressing control x y and enter now this file is saved and if I want to look at the file content, cat authorize keys, and here you can see that you are a, we are able to see both the keys here. So here is the transit key, and here is the key that I have generated. So these two public keys are now installed on this system. So now what I would do is that I would exit. 
this session close this here go back to my instance select this instance stop this instance You could also try out without uh, uh, stopping the instance uh, or just by rebooting the instance, but uh, you might sometime encounter uh, issues uh, uh, that with the new key you might not be able to connect because the old sessions might be active and uh, that might lead to or, or the new keys are not registered. Uh, so by the SSH um, uh, service so it's always uh, better to stop the instance and start the instance so that all the services um, start properly and then your keys uh, get activated or else you could specifically target the SSH uh, service uh, with with the uh, correct service ID, uh, ID uh, to restart that particular service so I'm just taking a shortcut or a lazy way of restarting my SSH service by just re completely restarting the instance from scratch so let's wait for this uh, instance to be back in the running state okay so now that it is back in running state one thing would happen is that the public ip because this is not a elastic ip so this ip uh, is getting renewed um, over the stop and start uh, remember with reboot it will not change uh, only with a stop and a start this public ip changes so i'm copying this and now i am going to attempt uh, the ssh into this uh, vm using the new key so the new key that uh, new private key i've already installed the public key uh, in my previous step that i showed you so let me clear this out and I would use hyphen I user at the rate host name uh, okay I miss. Okay, yes. Voila, and you see that I am inside of my uh, VM and uh, we go to cd.ssh get keys. Yeah, so we are inside of this VM. You can see here that I have you could see the public key that I had installed earlier. So that's all about it. Uh, so that's how you regain your control uh, around your uh, EC2 instance. And uh, there are some other methods also to regain uh, the access like you could detach the volume of your ec2 old ec2 instance on which you have lost your control and you can attach it to a you can launch a new instance and you can attach the volume uh, to the new instance uh, and then you could do the same activity of uh, like replacing the keys or um, gaining hold of the um, uh, keys uh, and vice versa and i'm so this is the quickest and the easiest way of regaining uh, access or control but the key here is that you should have uh, the browser based ssh access enabled into your ec2 instance and for that i would again recommend you to go 
and watch my videos around the sessions manager and alternate methods to connect to your ec2 instance i will provide the link at the end of this video uh, please uh, go and watch that video in case you are having uh, trouble um, enabling the uh, ec2 instance connect or the sessions manager for your instance so that's all for today uh, thanks for watching mm -hmm.